morning guys welcome back to boots and bounty homestead i wanted to make some coffee with you guys and i wanted to show you a a new thing that i found that i never really tried before and um you coffee drinkers out there may not have ever tried it either and i want to show you how i make it give you some options and uh just give you ideas to see if it's something that you would like so last night i went ahead and made some coffee and I, I use the light roast because whenever you, I'm all into, you know, medicinals and my food, being my medicine and all of that. When you look at coffee and the way they roast it, the dark roast is basically burnt. They have cooked it to death. They have just, it's nothing left but the powder. <laughs> it's nothing left but the ground up coffee and it'll fall apart by itself. Um... The medium roast is um, a less of a roast. And of course the light roast being, it's barely toasted. And I'm talking about the coffee beans. Um, I do the light roast because since they're barely toasted, they um, the coffee gives off the most medicinal benefits. Now you can do your own research and see all the benefits from um, the coffee medicinal aspect. So this is part of my morning routine. I do want to share this recipe with you guys because it is so yummy. So last night, like I said, I went ahead and brewed, this is 10 ounces of the light blonde coffee. And then I added, once it cooled off a little bit, this is in a jar. Once it cooled off a little bit, um, I put some honey in it because you don't want honey to get over about 100 degrees or you kill the benefits of the honey. Now, that being said, it's springtime right now when I'm videoing this and honey, local honey, which I have, does benefit and help with allergies um, because the bees are actually making the honey from the flowers and from the um, pollinating items that are around your area. So when you ingest the honey, you're actually taking allergy medicine in because it's going to help your body get used to the allergens or the pollen that's in your area. And so your body being a allergy, like seasonal allergy, snotty and stuff, um, when you ingest it, it's kind of like an antibody. Whereas your body will get used to it and it will not fight it off, which is a histamine attack from your immune system. And so ingesting local honey will help with your allergies if you do it on a regular basis. It's kind of like an allergy medicine for certain types of pollen that the bees um, make the honey with. So moving on, I went ahead and put the... Um, tablespoon of honey in here after it cooled off stirred it up and then I put it in the refrigerator overnight because I didn't want to do all this in the morning and have it you know have to let it cool off so to this I'm actually going to put some ice in it be right back ta-da here we go now one trick I'm gonna try pretty soon is I'm gonna make up a bunch of coffee and I'm gonna freeze them in ice cubes so whenever I want to make a cold brew I can just put coffee ice in my coffee so it doesn't water it down so if you want to do this think about doing that so you don't water your coffee down and um, it'll keep it cold um, so to this I'm gonna add probably about a teaspoon or so of vanilla I usually just do a good little squirt and then I've got some heavy whipping cream. I don't have a cow or, or goat or anything, so I do have to buy mine. And then I'm just going to pour this over it. And that's probably about a quarter of a cup. It looks like a lot. Let me start it up. I love watching coffee mix up with creamer. <laughs> Now you can do this to your taste however you would like. The amounts, the ingredients, whatever you want to do. Um, now you can also add cinnamon or nutmeg or any kind of pumpkin spice to this if that's your thing. So here is my lovely iced coffee. So you guys go out and try this and see what you like about it. See if you do like it. 
and let me know in the comments below. You may want to use less creamer. You may want to use more creamer. You may want to use a store-bought creamer, powdered creamer, regular milk. It's all up to you and what your diet allows, what you like. So, let me know in the comments below, what do you put in yours? Because I want to try some different things, um, making up some different flavors and such like that. Let me know what you guys use. So, until next time, guys, I hope you like this recipe, and we will see you then. Bye! It tastes like coffee ice cream. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That is so good.